People who've invested in cryptocurrency know that it's still pretty risky. And if you're in it for the short term games, it can be a really roller coaster ride. Financial advisor Jeff Bangeter joins us now here to talk about the strategies for crypto and the volatility here. Uh, Jeff, before we get going, I mean, obviously crypto's here to stay, but let's talk about the volatility. It has been up and down, even in the last two months. Oh, yeah. Well, and if you look over the last year, I mean, it was down to uh, 29,000 and then up to 67,000 and today right. we're up around 40,000. So you got to be, if you're in it, you got to be uh, prepared for the roller coaster for sure. Let's talk about the developments um, over the past five days with Russia invading Ukraine. Uh, they're trying to sanction, um, if some administrations get their way, some of the cryptocurrency um, uh, people who organize this stuff. But that gets really challenging. I mean, the, the reason people invest in this stuff is to go around the banks, right? Absolutely. And I, you know, if you think about China as trying to outlaw their people from using cryptocurrencies, and then you had Canada going seizing bank accounts of protesters, that's just going to fuel more people going into cryptocurrencies to sidestep the bank. So I think that's what's going on in Russia, too. You've got the, the people in Russia going, hey, this government's kind of lost their mind. And, you, you know, I mean, there's a lot of that going around these days. And even before the, the, the invasion, there was a higher percentage of Russians who invest in cryptocurrency because the great distrust there of the banking system. So do you see the future of cryptocurrency obviously here to say, but with events like these, does it kind of reinforce why these are so popular in the first place? And long range, I'll say here, a good bet for your money? Well, I think that it is here to stay for sure. And I think that as people look at what's going on in events around the world, again, from these wars or with China and what's going on in Canada, you know, and I've had many of my clients reach out and say that they've heard that, you know, the U.S. government could come in and seize bank accounts. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know that there's anything that could stop them from doing that. So I think crypto is going to become even more uh, a part of our normal lives as people try to protect themselves from you know, government intervention in our financial transactions. Do you think um, that you sh average investors like me should take a long range approach to cryptocurrency or should we be trying to ride every wave? Well, I think with like any investing, whether it be stocks, there's high volatility in stocks as well. You have to look at what is the purpose, right? So right. if you think about the money that you're investing in, you know, cryptocurrencies have got this emotional volatility, so right. do the individual stocks. So you have to think, well, what kind of return do I need on my money to get whatever the purpose of that money is? If it's retirement money, I think that you should be more conservative, do a balanced portfolio. Yeah. It is just trying to, uh, you know, hedge inflation, then perhaps cryptocurrencies will be a good hedge. Um, I think it's more like the reason we bought gold is kind of a safety. Right. Yeah. You know, gold naturally kind of outpaces inflation. And if worse came to worse, you could always use it to buy things with. Exactly. All right, Jeff Bangeter, some great advice as cryptocurrency, that roller coaster ride continues to go, but becomes ever more present in our financial system. Jeff, thank you. Thanks for having me.